Well, uh, ladies and gents, we've got the top three place getters from this uh, opening leg of the Air Road uh, Superbike Championship. Linda McGee, great start, but uh, I think you're ruining that back marker about uh, eight laps in. Yeah, no, I, uh, I chose to go around the outside of turn three and sort of got out in the damp stuff and lost a bit of time. And then on the last lap, um, Glenn and, and uh, Jed, they got through a... Another threw another lapper into Honda and I got caught up um, but yeah no I'm really happy with uh, you know the way the race went and uh, you know congratulations to these two guys and we'll see how we go later on well you must be pretty happy in yourself you're privately funding it's you know Linda McGee racing this year compared to what's been happening in the past few years you're doing it all out so that's uh, even more impressive for what you're going through at the moment yeah no we've um, you know big big uh, thanks to Glen Eagle um, all the other boys over there, um, you know, for funding this. Uh, and M1 Motorsport in New Zealand, he's behind me as well. And I like the logo you've got now too. That um, brings back a few memories as well. Yeah, we thought we'd uh, use uh, Liam's logo back from 2002. Good on you, mate. All the best for the second race. And uh, we move on now to Jed Metzger in second spot. Uh, welcome return to Australian Championship Racing. Jed, fastest lap of the race in the, the last lap, but not quite to um, pin up Glenn. Yeah, yeah, the conditions were tough for, for everybody, I think. And then lap rider at the end there, yellow flag. It was a pretty, yeah, there was a lot going on, you know. Um, Glenn rode really well. He um, obviously yeah, blocked the lines there at the end and did everything right. It's a bit risky to, to try and pass at MG there with the damp spot. So, no, I'm happy with the race. Um, Would have liked it to be fully dry so we could go faster, you know. We, what, what we're chasing is really lap time at the moment with the bike. But, yeah, we're really happy. Well, you'll be happy with your lap time. You're the only one to dip into the 33s, and that was on the last lap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks to Glenn, he pulled me into it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just judging the conditions, really, the whole time, just see where you could push harder. Um, yeah, so Lyndon had some good good lines at the start, and, and we just learned from that. And Yeah, no, it was a really good race. We'll look forward to number two. Well, hopefully it'll be a fully dry race, and we can uh, get some more action. Well done, Jed. Yeah, good no to worries. see you. No worries, and we'll move on to our race winner and uh, championship leader. The number three's getting a bit closer, Glenn. That was a pretty hard race, though, for you. You sat back and watched, or was that just the way the race was unfolding? Yeah, no, the, the two boys in front were going pretty hard at the start, so... Um and 12 laps is a long way, so, you know, the cold conditions, I was thinking that, um, you know, tyres are going to come apart if you keep pushing that hard. But uh, I, I felt like I had a bit of an issue with the bike at the start, and then and then I sort of just, uh, like Jed said, it was really patchy, so it was hard to, um, you know, push really, really hard the whole time. So, um, yeah, I sort of just sort of wanted to play it safe, and then when Jed went past Lyndon, I knew that uh, he had a little bit of speed, so I had to go with him straight away, and then... Um, Pretty much went to plan. I wanted to pass, get get to the lead with about three laps to go, and push really hard for the last three laps, and and um, you know save the tie for that portion of the race. And I managed to do that, but um, didn't manage to get clear. Like Jed was still there, I could hear him in some of the slower corners. So it was a good race. Um, and yeah, it's really good to get the BMW across the line first. And um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the next race. Hopefully, it's completely dry and we can just ride really hard. Well, just going back to that passing manoeuvre when Lyndon lost the lead with that lap marker, yeah. looking at it from your angle, you've got three bikes in front of you. What, what was your going through your mind very quickly at that stage? Yeah, look, I was just hoping that the lapper um, saw the blue flag and, and just held his line and um, and then it, nothing would happen because that was the diciest part of the start of the race because it was patchy. Um, you know, if, if you get offline and have a big moment and you're in the lead of the group of three, you can cause carnage. So... I was sitting back making sure that, you know, the first part of the race was safe for me and then pushed towards the end. All right, mate, all the best for the next one. We'll see you back in, hopefully. Thanks. No worries. And that, uh, another good race there. And uh, I'll be back shortly with after the lunch break with uh, race two of the Superbikes and Supersports.